Welcome to another Barker Gaming Commentary video. In this video, I'll be talking about the 670 XT Day 1 reviews. And uh, later on, I'll be talking about a few NVIDIA rumors about the 3070 Ti's and the um, 3080 Ti. Disclaimer, I have no access to 6700 XT. I attempted to buy one at my local retail, yet they have plenty of stock issue. They were way out of MSRP. I'll talk about that later on in this video. Uh, anyway, now let's get on to the video. So, what? let's talk. first talk about is performance about 6700 XT. Well, well, from the reviews, the 6700 XT, majority of the games, it will be at 30... It will beat 3060 Ti even if it's within the 3060 Ti 8GB limit. Um, in some games, it will be able to hit up to 3070 and even beat that. Which means like, cool, AMD, this is a pretty neat card you made there. You can, it beats, it slots right in the middle of, you know, your competition's card. But, the MSRP, it's 479 as I l last checked, on um, 25th of March. That's the MSRP, that... And, in my opinion, the, yeah, the MSRP should be more closer to the 410 US dollars. Now, let's talk about the... Um, third party AIB cards. The third party AIB cards seems to be, you know, on the internet rumbling that and a few other YouTube who does leaky, who's like, who does these leaks and talks about, you know, some rumors. They all seem to be like, and I also have myself a few sources and um, they all seem to be like yeah we are getting our cards around the 750 US MSRP for the AIB cards which yeah that is not good that's actually the reason why I did not buy a, a 6700 XT because those MSRP cards non-existence and the uh, premiums and the Stuff. Oh god, they were just crazy overpriced. So, not right now, what we should be doing, again, we should not be buying any of the AIB cards, and we should just be buying the AMD reference card, which is at 700, 479 US dollar MSRP. Okay, what, um, and a few of the, uh, sources kind of told me be like an AIB card in a normal scenario should like that's really close to a founder should but has a really good cooler should only have a 10% premium um, and as for those really high-end cards uh, um, they where it has a custom PCB and a really really flashy really good looking cooler they normally go around 20% extra MSRP. So, yeah, here's my guideline on buying graphics card. Alright, so, enough of talking about performance and pricing. Let's talk about the software suite. The software suite for the 6000, even with the 6700 XT, yeah, they show that they can do RTX, but however, you know, the upscaling stuff, um, yeah, the MD seems to be lacking any upscaling technology, and well, they have teased that they have something in the work, but like Scott Herkelman has a publicly said, it will come out May like it we it might come out in this year, but you know, yeah, it's March. 
right now. Um, there is goddamn how long do we? And by the time the end of 2021, I think the 6,000 series are going to get replaced with a maybe a new generation. So our RDNA one. And 6000 series, if you want AMD upscaler, I think you should just hold on to whatever you have. If you can still game on your current hardware, on your current graphics card, just hold and wait for, you know, the next, like, RDNA maybe 3 or RDNA 2 refresh, where they actually have um, the Fidelity FX working on launch with their cards and I can see the 6000 series as kind of like the RTX 20 series where it's like yeah it has the capability but it ain't gonna be the greatest and uh, yeah so and also yeah um AMD seems to also from uh, what I looked online needs to polish up their encoding encoder for their graphics card with, with a lot of casual and some small to medium streamers yeah they rely on graphics card um rendering so amd you're kind of missing a market there okay so amd really really need to they now have developed the baseline for the hardware and now for the next seven thousand or the RDNA 3, they really need to go in and improve if they are to be really competitive, if they want to stay in the current price bracket, they are going to need to have the software suite after to compete or else, no, no one's going to buy your AMD card because, well, your competition has a better suite and is at the literally the same price. Now, let me start talking about the NVIDIA rumor, 3070 Ti and the 3080 Ti. NVIDIA, well, they probably saw the 6000 series and be like, hey, we do need to respond. We kind of underestimated them. And AMD has improved quite drastically. So, what's the new rumor right now? The 3070 Ti rumor? are going to have 8GB of GDR6 memory. The previous rumored 16GB GDR6 memory, I think NVIDIA has kind of killed it off. The next rumor is the 3080 Ti, which is, again, that it seems that it is a rumor to have 12 gigabyte of GDR6X memory and the 20 gig model I think again the video probably killed it off but in my opinion this is the worst case scenarios for the 30 series because one a less educated end user might be like oh hey um, why does the 3060 have 12 gig of VRAM, which is a cheaper card? And then you see like a 3070, 3070 T, Ti, 3080, and they'd be like, they have less of VRAM, uh, and they cost more. Of course, I'm not gonna buy that graphics card. I'm gonna buy the 3060, 12 gigabyte. You know, um, it seems more. Bug, it seems I'm getting more value out of that as I'm getting six, 12 gig of VRAM. The 38 Ti, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's gonna be 12 gigabyte again. That is gonna be. Is consumers really gonna be able to see on the box GDR6X instead of GDR6? Maybe not. I think some consumers might get confused be like hey why is I, I why is one of these are GDR6 and why is these you know GDR6X what's the difference you know okay anyway I think yeah Nvidia you fucked up your 30 series you really 
I think as soon as possible in 2021, once this mining bullshit drops off face of her, I think you should immediately or start slowly kill off your 30 series and just, you know, do a refresh of the 30 series and just give it a proper VRAM allocation so you don't get these weird out VR VRAM bullshit right now nightmare. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, this two-in-one video, due to some IRL time constraint. I'm not able to um, separate these two videos, uh, make a dedicated video for the 670XT and, uh, um, and the rumors for the 3070 Ti and the 3080 Ti's. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you like and subscribe for more videos from Barker Gaming Commentary Videos.